All right. Like the sky wants to yell at us. What? <laughs> Samuel. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Samuel. Uh, he kind of makes sense. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. We're not done yet. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I do. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Um... Oh, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Oh, yes. Yes, gross. It's amazing. Squirrels! You, you, hey, get the food. What are you doing? Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? You've got the... Uh, Squirrel, look. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Except... Food. Let me just get the food. Yes! You can't escape from get me. Get that food in your belly. Samuel misses his squirrels. But they don't eat the nuts, right? They just kind of stuff it in their cheeks and then... And then bury it because it's awesome, right? And that's a donut. It's not even a, a nut. A donut is not a nut. Anyway, what the photo? Hey, little guys. What are you guys doing? Eating a donut? Awesome. Uh, let's speak to him some more. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I definitely have questions about... Oh, many... Uh, beach whales? How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Equal disaster, they're not alone. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. Yeah. You think so, Samuel? You're the, you're the only one with You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. You're literally the only one with powers, Max. How can you be powerless? What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. People, all right? I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. He sees things, not people. Interesting. Interesting. Why do you say that? Because you both 
see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. He sees things, not people. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad. <laughs> you don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Alright, game. Not enough to help me. Thanks, game. We still have to do everything ourselves. Fine. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Uh, where is she? That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert is waiting too. Didn't we find her things in his little room to the side, like in her in the little tool room thing? Like there were photos of her and then there was like a scarf, a girl's scarf and stuff like that. Um, Eclipse. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Uh, the beginning of what? Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. <laughs> That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. Time never ends, guys. Time never ends. Profound. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I'm sorry. I better get going now. We need to deal with Nathan. We need to deal with Nathan before we destroy the club. Uh, can I go inside? Oh, the boys' dormitories are here. Wait a minute. The boys' dormitories is the same as the... Oh, is it just... Oh, is this two different sides of the building? I see. So one side is boys and one side is girls. So the boys and the girls is the same door I see. Oh, we haven't talked to um, Daniel yet. Let's talk to Daniel. Bro, sit in the sun. What are you doing? Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. What's that? What is that shirt? Fedora? Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Uh, I love your drawings. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Um, let's talk. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better. And gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. 
Oh, uh, cool. All right. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Go to the party, don't go to the party. Go to the party, don't go to the party. I... This is... strange. Should he go to the party or should he not go to the party? This is a weird choice because you have no idea what the consequences this is going to have. How would you know? How would you know to tell him to go or not? I don't think anyone should go. To be honest. He might be helpful, but he might get hurt. Ah, screw it. We'll just get everybody we can. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna recruit as much help as possible. And if nothing else, he can be... He can be cannon fodder, and this, he can be a distraction while we <laughs> deal with other things. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Alright, so we're done talking to Daniel. Uh, this is Justin and Chloe. Hey, Justin. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. I'm sure he is. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Why doesn't she skate? The coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Yes. Okay, what is... Alright. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Huh. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Well, it's pretty much co-ed, because there's really nothing stopping people from visiting each other. What is even... Uh, text from Kate. Oh, sweet. <laughs> okay, let me just read that. Uh, Supermax, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Kate, you're so awesome, thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You already are a rebel, trust me. Always, and please, please be careful, promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted, I know you will. Uh, smiley face wave? Is that, is that everything? Oh, yeah, that's everything. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. The map says... Knowledge is good. JJ, not my circus, not my monkeys. No, said no one ever. Uh, fuck you boys, Dom of Doom. Fuck off my room. Hello there, what is going on here? Oh, nothing. Uh, nothing, what is that? We're just fucking around with your fuck shit something's key thanks, but fuck shit's cool, key thanks, but alright. Uh, Ganyo de Costa, Samuel equals Dexter, Indiana Jones, boys, uh, no homo, blow me pizza boxes, TV lounge, huge penis, um, Principal Wells is... is... what right now? 
is drunk right now, okay. A listed day and night. Interesting map. I fucking knew you would do this, fuck off. Um What does that say? La la land. You fat fuck sick perv Danny the pig. Why don't you join the losers club? Back to back ass fucking champs. Go home your mum baked you custard tart. Uh okay. It's not a <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Alright. Slate, the Vortex Club sucks ass, love Evan. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. Alright, so that's Evan. What is this? Safety first. So apparently Logan missed this poster. Look before you lust. Always use protection and secure your future. Condoms. Uh, that's a cool picture. Look at that. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. Skateboarding is not a crime. Are they banging? Showers. Can I go into the boys' showers? Uh, look. Who would steal cat pics? <laughs> it's the stu they're still looking for this. On September 15th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria. A large cat picture, large picture file of my late cats, RIP, so I will pay a little cash reward. No questions asked, please. This cats were my best friends. Sad face. They have one more meeting left. So casual gamers, your time is over. Join Gamer Guys. Every week we play and analyze a new game from COD to WoW. From strategy to shooters, game on Friday, Wexler Media Center. Further info, John Romero? John Romero is head of the Casual Gamers Club at Blackwell Academy? Um, of course toilet paper. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Apparently. Because everything's so much more fun when they run out of toilets. Toilet paper, isn't it? Oh, photo, what is this? Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. This is giant, giant footprints. Uh... Dorm Think Tank, welcome to Black Smell. <laughs> Sit and shit. Uh, what does that say? I don't know what that says. Free glory hole, except it's uh, the boys dorm, so it's just boys and other boys. Free glory hole in a boys dorm where there's no girls. I mean, if you're into it, I guess you're into it. Uh, Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Can I has art? Penis, 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 penis. And then... I don't know what, what the hell that's about. Uh, look. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Kate and then... Cry, hipster, cry. Hmm. Well, they're still bullying. What is even happening right now? Slate? Bigfoot's got big boars. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Do they really, though? Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. It's all good in the woods. This just makes me think of Kate. Don't be bullied. If you're the victim of bullying, you're not alone. Come join a monthly support discussion group. Primacy guaranteed. Uh, what does that say? Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Warning beta fag alert. Huh. Interesting. Look. Hello, Warren's room. 
Hawking and him make a good team. There's no unique picture of reality, Stephen Hawking. We can't exit. Um, poster. Oh, you Bigfoots. Big feet. Slate. Sorry, Kate. <laughs> Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Yeah, not enough to stop at the beginning. What is going on please, here? Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. This can only be Nathan's room. The Prescott's rule this town, yeah. If you th if you think so. Really? He's gonna smash it open? And a projector... A projector, wait a minute. So we're gonna smash it open now and then... Now we need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. So we're gonna rewind the, the smashing, right? Uh, Joyce... Wait, Joyce has my number? Okay. Max, I appreciate you standing up for David. I know Chloe didn't like that, but she needs to stand up and stop acting out so much. Except that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. <laughs> I know what happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope, I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she is getting stuck again. David wants to help, but she won't let him. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad. I'm sorry Joyce, even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know Max, I forget you're still teenage adults. We didn't have a choice though, did we? We didn't actually have a choice to not get into the pool. I don't know, whatever. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Alright, bondage picks. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're gonna pay, motherfucker. Alright. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. We should take this, right? We should take the, um, the blackmail stuff away from him. Do we just put it back? No, take it away. Take it away from him. That is so Chloe. Oh my god. Chloe. That is... Why would you just leave that Chloe. there? Alright, we're just gonna... Left... We just left the blackmail pictures in the drawer. Amazing. 